This park was proclaimed in 1931, and there were 11 elephants. Because in this area, they used to be hunting. So after realizing that there was only 11 elephants remaining, they decided to protect them. But there was not enough fencing to keep the elephants inside. So they, they used to go outside and eat the oranges for the farmers. So there was fighting between the farmers and the park. So in 1954, the park manager at that time improvised that fence. This fence behind us is called Armstrong fence, the elephant proof fence. So right now, the animals that we have here, they will just survive at their natural habitat. No feeding of animals. So after realizing that there was only 11 elephants remaining, they decided to protect them. Okay, the difference between African elephants and Asian elephants, if you look at the ears of African elephants, they are big. And also they've got the same shape of African continent. And the Asian elephants, they've got small ears with the shape of Asian continent. The reason being, here in Africa, it's very hot. So about 12% of the heat is being lost by using the ears to cool themselves, fanning themselves. That is the reason why they've got big ears. Also, if you look at the trunk of African elephants, they've got two things like this, which are called prehensile fingers. So they've got two prehensile fingers, whereas the Asian elephant, they've got one prehensile finger. So the African elephants, they can pick something from the ground using those fingers. But the Asian elephants, if they want to pick something from the ground, they use the whole trunk to tie something. If you look at the ears of African elephants, they are big. Also, if you look at the trunk of African elephants, they've got two things like this, which are called prehensile fingers. And the Asian elephants, they've got small ears, whereas the Asian elephant, they've got one prehensile finger. Now we have got 12 lions, 12 of them. And uh, we have got about three females which were placed with the radio collars, the tracking device. So someone, if you want to track them, you can just log on them, then you can find them mm -hmm. where they are. Mm -hmm. But it's for the research people who are doing the research on them. You will never hear a lion rolling when they are hunting. They will roar after a successful kill or to bring back the members of the family that goes astray. Because they can't reach speeds of some antelopes, so they rely on ambush to attack from different sides. So maybe the other one will get lost by trying to ambush a prey. So by rolling, they will try to bring back those members of the family that went astray. Now we have got 12 lions. We have got about three females which were placed with the radio collars, the tracking device. You will never hear a lion rolling when they are hunting. These are the flightless dung beetles. Sometimes you see them on the dunk making some balls. There are two types of the balls that they make from the dunk. They use rhino or buffalo or elephant dunk 
to make those balls. The other one is called brood ball, the other one is called food ball. The food ball, they use it to feed themselves. And the brood ball, they use it, they lay some eggs in the ball, then they hide the ball in a soft sand so that the young ones will come to feed on the dung. So they will be having ready food. Also, these dung beetles, there's no competition when they're on the dung making the balls, but there's fierce competition on the finished balls. When one finished to make his ball, the other ones want to take over that ball. So a lot of times when they're pushing the balls, you will see two or three of dung beetles trying to take that ball to push that ball. They use rhino or buffalo or elephant dunk. The food ball, they use it to feed themselves. And the brood ball, they use it, they lay some eggs in the ball. Two, one.